for four days of the year. If you run a business in rural Wales, this is probably one of the best places to work. But in most other areas of Wales, broadband not spots are far more common. One example of how poor broadband connection can harm your work is Frances Volker's business. She's an architect and works from her home in Pant Glass, a small village near Penegroes in Gwynedd. If you were a young person trying to set up in business and you had these kind of problems, you, you couldn't do it here. You cannot set up a business in the rural area which relies on broadband con- connections to the rest of the world um, and compete with the, with the towns. Ofcom, UK's telecoms regulator today, has asked BT to drop the wholesale price that it charges other internet providers to use the broadband network in rural areas. Higher costs of delivery can mean customers in remote areas pay more than people in towns and cities. At the Farmers Union of Wales stand in Llanelweth, BT gave a presentation on how Cornwall will benefit on the fast broadband rollout there. What will happen will be that the wholesale offer that BT will sell to the 400 plus service providers out there will be flexible within rural areas. Now, I think that is partly because there has been, have been cases where the rural areas have been charged more. Now, BT has never ever charged more in a rural area to an urban area. The discussions on which company could provide faster broadband services in Wales are ongoing, but by 2015, with government, European Union and private investment of more than £200 million, rural areas here could also benefit.